What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. Did you see the moon this morning? Okay, it looked crazy. I went outside. I didn't know if I should be scared or astonished. It was beautiful, but kind of creepy at the same time. Keep doing your thing, moon, but please do not be signaling the end of the world. There's still so much I want to do with my life. I still haven't seen the new Star Wars movie. Now to celebrate that moon, I'm wearing my Frederick Constant moon timer, just a very, very beautiful watch. Now guys, every time I bring up the moon on this channel, people lose their minds. They send me messages telling me that I'm perpetuating some government conspiracy, that I'm just drinking the Kool-Aid for believing in the moon. I, I, I don't know what's going on. Look, the only conspiracy that I believe in is that the moon is actually made of cheese, okay? The government says it's not. I say it is. I don't have any actual substantiated evidence to back up that claim, aside from just some deep burning desire for the moon to be made of delicious shallots and chives barson cheese with some pear slices on the side. <laughs> yes. Leave me a comment, guys. What's your favorite cheese? We're going to be talking about cheese today on this episode. So uh, it's 3.35 p.m. Let's get down to business. No, I'm, I'm kidding, guys. We're not talking about cheese. As much as I'd love to talk about cheese, maybe I should make another channel about cheese. What's going on, everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the cheese teller, the cheese seller. Like the cheese seller, like a seller of cheese, but I would also sell cheese to my viewers. Oh my God. We're actually gonna be talking about the 20,000 subscriber giveaway. Guys, if you've read the title of this video, you already know what I'm giving away, but I'm gonna be giving you guys a Vostok Amphibia, a watch that has a deep cult following. Uh, I'm actually gonna be reviewing the watch when it comes in. Unfortunately, I don't have it shipped to me yet, but when it comes in, I will do a short review and talk about the watch you will be getting. But also part of that uh, giveaway will be one of these GearBest.com watch toolkits. Now, as I told you in a prior episode, a company called GearBest.com sent me a bunch of watch tools that I in turn am going to be sharing with you guys. Now, one of them is this pretty well-equipped watch toolkit. I'm gonna be opening it up right now, reviewing it, telling you what's inside and how it'd be useful. Now, you know the expression, it's better to have one and not need one than to need one and not have one. People use this expression when they're talking about first aid kits or fire extinguishers or even firearms. Well, when you're a watch guy, it's kind of good to have some of these tools and not need them than to really need one and not have them. Now, I'm gonna be honest, maybe some of the stuff you won't be using like on a daily basis. Uh, and to be totally truthful, if something really goes wrong with one of my watches, I'm more likely to go take it to my watch guy than to fiddle around with it myself. But if you are someone that really likes to tinker around with things, or maybe you're into watch modding, okay, we're gonna be talking about watch modding, uh, then one of these could be very useful and helpful to you. So yeah, it's just my little way of saying thank you for being an awesome subscriber, guys. You've been so good to me. I wanna give something awesome back to you. So I'm giving away a brand new Vostok Amphibia and one of these very cool GearBest.com watch toolkits. Now I'm gonna be telling you how to enter the giveaway at the end of this episode, so don't miss it. But if you don't wanna wait for the giveaway and you wanna buy one of these GearBest.com toolkits, I'm gonna to be leaving links in my description below. You can buy these there at GearBest.com for incredibly cheap. But for now, why don't we crack one of these babies open and see what's inside. All right, so when you get the toolkit, it's gonna to look a lot like this. Uh, Kind of like a little nylon taco here. Just open it up and here's all the goodies. Okie dokie, so when you first open up one of these watch tool kits, there's gonna be some things that every watch guy has probably used before and is fairly familiar with, but then there's gonna be some other things that you may not have and may not use that often, but are very, very cool things to have nonetheless. So first, let's look at the kind of run of the mill watch guy watch tool. So first up, you have your basic spring bar tool, okay? If you're gonna change a watch strap or resize a bracelet, you pretty much need one of these. It's not impossible to do it without one of these uh, spring bar tools, but this makes your life a lot easier. This allows you to compress the spring bars within the bracelet or strap very, very easily comes with a uh, removable head so you can change them out for larger or smaller tips. Um, so whatever your watch or bracelet calls for, you can slide those on, it makes life a lot easier. Also, it comes with this little set of tweezers. Now, uh, for instance, my Seiko Tuna uses the pin and collar system. So when you tap the pin out of the bracelet and it's poking out just a little bit, having a pair of tweezers 
makes life a lot easier to just kind of yank that pin the rest of the way. Very, very good. So kind of your standard set tweezers, spring bar tool makes life a lot easier. Now, here, these three things are actually a set of small jewelry screwdrivers. Now, my Panerai doesn't have spring bars, okay? At first, I thought it was really annoying. The Panerai does come with its own Panerai screwdriver, but if I were to ever misplace that and I wanted to change the strap out or change the buckle, I would actually need one of these screwdrivers. So, it comes flathead and Phillips, very, very convenient. Here, if you didn't want to use uh, one of these spring bar tools, but you just needed to tap out a spring bar, like for instance, or, or, or a spring pin. Um, if you had uh, drilled lugs in your watch, you could just take this, simply poke out the spring pin, take the strap off. Okay, now those were kind of your common everyday watch guy tools, but what about these other kind of bigger, weird looking things? What do you do with those? Well, I'll show you. Okay, so this right here is actually a very, very useful tool. Now, this is a little jig for your watch case, okay? Here is my little uh, Hamilton Field Watch LL Bean dial. It actually needs a new movement, unfortunately, but uh, I could swap it out myself using this little jig. So what you do is you simply put the watch head in this little contraption. As you can see, there's a cutout for the crown. And you screw it to size so that it will hold uh, the watch case nice and snug. And that way, as you can see, it's kind of clamping down. Uh, obviously, you don't want to over tighten. You don't want to put too much stress on that watch case, but it's just enough that it's not going to move around and you can work on it. Now, how are you going to take this happens to be a screw screw down case back. How would you take one of those off? Well, I'll show you that right now. Okay, so as you can see, I have the head of my little Hamilton field watch sitting here in this jig, nice and snug. It's not gonna move around. So how am I gonna remove the case back to actually see the movement? Well, I'm gonna reach into the toolkit. I'm gonna pull out this wrench along with these little bits in here. Now, how do these all work together? Well, as you can see here, uh, depending on what size grooves are on your case back, you're going to pick the proper bits that would fit into those grooves and screw them onto the wrench. I've already done that. Now, what happens if this wrench isn't the proper size for the diameter of your case back. Well, fear not, because you can actually screw it to size so that those bits will properly fit whatever diameter your case back is, and so they will actually fit snugly in those grooves so that you can actually get a good grip and remove the case back. So let's put this on here and take this case back off. What do you say? Okay, guys, moment of truth. Uh, let's put these in the grooves, tighten it up so it's, okay, yes, it should be sitting in there. Let's apply some downward pressure with my index finger. And, oh, I can see the case back moving. So it looks as if we picked the right sizes. Um, again, we're applying that downward pressure so that the wrench doesn't slip. Um, and, oh, yep. Okay, it's loose enough. We're gonna take this case back off and see what that movement looks like. Da, 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 da. Looky there. Look at that, guys. Let's get a close up. Very cool to see this, huh? 17 joules, Swiss made. The movement of my little Hamilton Field Watch LL Bean Dial. Um, yeah, this little jig made it a lot easier than if I were to hold the watch by hand because this watch is solidly in here. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to slip. I would much rather use one of these than to hold the watch when I'm removing the case back. So very, very cool tool there. Swiss made. But then look what I saw on the case back. Wah, wah. Where is it? Case made in Hong Kong. Hamilton, what are you doing? This watch is from the 90s. <laughs> I'm sure Hamilton still makes their cases in Hong Kong, though. I don't, I don't know if that's changed. Someone fill me in. Where do they make their watch cases, guys? 
let's start an argument in the comment section, why not? All right, so now's actually a very good opportunity to show off one of the other tools you get in this kit. Uh, you get one of these. So this is for if you have a snap on case back. So instead of a threaded case back where you'd need that wrench, let's say it's one of those snap on case backs. What you do is you take this thing, you'd pop off the case back and you'd be able to see the internals of your watch. So whether it's screw down, whether it's snap on, you'd still be able to remove the case back with one of these toolkits. How cool is that? All right, now let's take a look at the final tool that comes in this toolkit. Well, let's say you wanted to resize a bracelet. Here's the Jubilee bracelet from my Seiko SKX. Uh, you'd put it in this channel, you'd line up the removable links to this little prod, you'd screw it down, and you, as you could see, if you lined it up, this little poker would go into the hole, poking out the pin, allowing you to remove a link and resize a bracelet. Or if you wanted to tap it out using one of these, you could just take your bracelet, put it in this channel, take your tool and tap them out that way. So you have multiple options here. I don't know if I would use this one. I'm more of a fan of tapping them out by hand, but uh, it's a nice thing to have and it gives you some options. So all in all, a very well equipped little toolkit but let me know what you think. And there you have it, pretty well equipped little toolkit here. Now, again, you might not be using all of these things in here on a regular basis, but if you're gonna be resizing a bracelet or changing out a watch strap, one of these would be very, very useful to have. Again, links to these in my description below. And please get excited for that new Vostok Amphibia. So how do you win these things? Well, first, I want you to like this video. I want you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I want you to follow me on Instagram at The Simple Consultant. Very, very important. There's a ton more content over there, some behind the scenes stuff, and you get some awesome pictures of sneaky things in my collection that I haven't shared here yet. So please follow me there. And finally, I want you to comment under this video telling me what's your favorite watch of mine that you've seen in my collection so far. It's as simple as that. One of you guys could be walking away with a brand new Vostok Amphibia and one of these awesome gearbest.com toolkits, guys. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. Again, this is like 102 episodes in, so we've covered a lot of ground in a very short period of time. This is month seven, I think. Thank you guys so much. This is just moving so fast. I'm having so much fun. Uh, YouTube has quickly become a very important part of my life. This channel is, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's just a very fun thing that I look forward to doing every day, and it's all because of you guys. You guys are awesome. Big hug, thank you so much guys. I love you, seriously, each and every one of you, I love you, thank you so much. And if this is your first time joining us here on the Time Teller channel, I wanna say welcome. You've joined in at a very cool time. You can still enter this giveaway if you subscribe, if you follow me over at The Simple Consultant on Instagram, if you like this video and you comment telling me which one of my watches you've seen so far is your favorite. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, yeah, I wanna urge you, please uh, click that subscribe button. It takes one second and it helps me out a ton. And while you're at it, you can click that little bell icon so you do not miss an episode of The Time Teller. There's just so much more awesome content on the way and you don't wanna miss it. I'm telling you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with other watch enthusiasts, other people that you think would enjoy this. I'm Jory Goodman, The Time Teller. And always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it.